All right, hey guys, welcome. We have an awesome hike for you today. Lined up at uh, Emerald Lake in Rocky Mountain National Park. It is freezing out, it's 28 degrees, it's snowing. They got two feet of snow, three feet of snow a couple weeks ago, but should be an awesome adventure. Let's go. You have to say, let's go with me. Come with me. <laughs> We're at 9,500 feet right now, climbing up to a little over 10,000 feet. Long after we started here is also about the time we realized that we probably needed crampons. Some of us had the, the small cheap crampons that you get but uh, we needed the full out metal ones. It was very slippery and we had many falls along the way. Not me so much but some of the less experienced hikers in the group you know. I might have fallen once or twice but uh, yeah definitely if you're going to do this in the winter bring crampons. The real metal ones with the big spikes on the bottom. Highly recommend that. All right. You can tell me the deck is stacked. You can whisper behind my back. You can show me how the odds are up against me all day long. But I've been through the fire and come out alive. Can't stop me now And this is when the wind really started going. We uh, started to get a taste of what it was going to be like later. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> just keep watching if you want to see how that turns out. It's uh, gets, uh, just a bit worse. So, <laughs> there you go. You can't stop me now So coming up is one of the, actually the worst spots that we went through on the hike. It, as you can see, we come out of the trees here and it's really open. And so the wind is just rolling really, really hard. Um, at this point, the wind is probably going 50 miles per hour at least. And it's 20 to 25 degrees. Um, so we thought this was the worst of it. Uh, but, but just wait, it, it does get worse as we get closer to the lake. The lake is uh, is something special, so stay tuned.
And right here, I think, was the moment seeing the spear come by with the goggles. <laughs> it's probably, yeah, probably about the time we realized that we wish we would have brought some uh, goggles and uh, completely covered our faces. Uh, that would have been nice. I, I did have uh, a buff that I put over most of my face, but the, uh, the eyes uh, definitely were not covered here, so... I wish we had some goggles, I think everyone can say that. What are we doing? Pulling the snow a little bit there. No problem. Put the waterproof boots on, right? This is the uh, final stretch here as we round the bend, um, right before we get to what is Emerald Lake. Uh, as you can see, the wind is rolling pretty hard now, but but stay <laughs> put here for just a, a few more minutes, and we'll we'll be um, at Emerald Lake, We're almost at the top altitude now. So stay tuned for that.
finally we get to the Emerald Lake Overlook here at the top of the trail, a little over 10,500 feet. Uh, as you're going to start hearing, the wind really starts rolling here. Uh, one of the people we passed said uh, was, you know, they had recorded it blowing around 60 to 70 miles per hour at least, uh, maybe a little bit higher. Uh, I, I believe there is a lake here uh, somewhere under all of this snow. At least I'm told there's a lake here. Um, but yeah, just take a listen. It was pretty extreme here at the top. We're also talking about maybe 20 degrees with wind chill, maybe down to the negatives uh, with how strong the wind is, easily down to the negatives. So we couldn't stay for too long, but listen, listen to the tape. Okay, all right, let's go. <laughs> I, of course, uh, decided to stay behind for a couple more minutes, <laughs> a few more shots and some more videos of, of this. It was, it was pretty epic, I, I have to admit. It reminded me of, of my time back in, in Iceland in winter when we got trapped in a blizzard. Uh, the, the wind was around 80 miles per hour then, and it felt every bit of that and just as cold, so... Definitely quite the experience uh, we will not soon forget. Awesome. I don't know. I thought you said she was right back here. Sassy! Ah, you gotta come around this way or go back. Yeah, you have to go that way. Or go back the way you came. Either or. I think it either or will work. Well, that's that's basically a wrap right there. I really appreciate you all watching um just to wrap up the the hike it was it was supposed to be about three and a half miles ended up being about four and a half miles uh the elevation was a little bit higher too i think they had stated like 10,200 i tracked up to about 10,500 so definitely a little bit more elevation gain it was uh supposed to take us now get this it was supposed to take us about two hours ended up taking us about four hours so almost twice as long obviously probably due to uh the amount of snow that was on the trail and then also the uh the windy and snowy conditions so definitely weren't able to complete that quite as fast as we would have liked but 
all in all, uh, quite an, an amazing hike and, and would definitely recommend it for anyone. Uh, maybe, you know, summer would probably be a little bit better or later in the spring, but we will definitely not forget <laughs> this adventure of Emerald Lake. Thanks a lot for joining again. Take care, y'all.